Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 24 of 2020, appointing National Security Advisor Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as the Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Order 26 of 2020, establishing the Strategic Security Bureau affiliated with the Supreme Defense Council. The Royal Order stipulates that the Supreme Defense Council will set the SSB powers and structure. His Majesty the King issued Royal Order 27 of 2020, appointing Sheikh Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa as SSB Chairman. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Order 28 of 2020, appointing Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as SDC Deputy Secretary General in addition to his current position. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Russian President Vladimir Putin. The two leaders reviewed the solid, deep-rooted relations between the two countries, as well as ways to bolster joint cooperation to achieve mutual interests. They affirmed the depth of the distinguished Bahraini-Russian relations and agreed to activate the work of joint committees to serve shared interests and achieve the two friendly countries' aspirations. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the key role President Putin plays in enhancing the bilateral relations. His Majesty the King praised the effective role played by Russia and hailed its keenness on consolidating security and peace on the regional and global levels. His Majesty congratulated the Russian President on the success of the vote of the Russian constitutional amendments and congratulated the President and the Russian people on the 75th anniversary of the Allied victory in World War II and the Soviet Union's victory in the Great Patriotic War. They stressed the importance of resolving the Syrian crisis and preserving the unity of Syrian soil. His Majesty praised the active role played by Russia internationally and its keenness to enhance security and peace in the region and the world. The international efforts related to combating the COVID-19 pandemic and its repercussions were also reviewed. The Russian President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his dedicated efforts and constant keenness to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Royal Guard Commander, National Security Advisor and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on his new appointment. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the Royal Trust and praised the directors of His Majesty the King to serve the Kingdom. His Highness also expressed thanks and appreciation for appointing the Under Secretary of the Foreign Ministry for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Khalifa, as a Deputy Secretary General for the Supreme Defense Council and appointing Sheikh Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa as Head of Strategic Security Service. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser issued the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during the Supreme Defense Council meeting that expressed appreciation for the government. He added that the speech is an encouragement to exert further efforts to achieve His Majesty's aspirations. His Royal Highness then congratulated National Security Advisor Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on his appointment as Supreme Defense Council Secretary General. He held His Highness's hard work and role in the field of military and strategic security in service of the Kingdom and its development. His Royal Highness then directed the plan for org organizing the reopening of private and public educational institutions and higher education for the next academic year to include an evaluation of future possibilities in light of the coronavirus and prioritizing students' health and safety. His Royal Highness appointed the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, to take the necessary procedures. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to coordinate with the relevant authorities to consider the situation of Bahrainis working abroad that have been laid off and returned to the country, or who have returned to the country and unable to return to their work abroad due to the current situation. The cabinet then welcomed and praised Bahrain's efforts in maintaining its status and global reports on human rights, including its success in maintaining its Tier 1 status in the annual report of the U.S. Department of State for Trafficking in Persons for the third year in a row, which reflects the success of the government's policies in combating these types of crimes. 
The meeting commended the efforts of the relevant authorities, including the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the LMRA, and the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons. Within this context, the Cabinet reviewed an MOU by the Minister of Foreign Affairs that included Bahrain's efforts in the field of developing the work environment and combating trafficking in persons. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved the amended organizational structure of the Court of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The Cabinet also approved transferring the Handicraft Department from the Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions to Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. The Cabinet then approved cancelling the Communication Department in the Civil Service Bureau and reorganizing some other departments. The Cabinet approved alleviating the fees imposed on the LMRA for a period of three months in order to maintain sustainable development and achieve SME's stability. The Cabinet approved the annual budget report for the end of 2019 and referred it to the Representatives Council. The Cabinet then discussed the economic report of the first quarter of 2020, which showcased the vital sectors of the Kingdom despite the precautions of the coronavirus pandemic. The Cabinet approved the joint statement between the Ministry of Interior, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection to develop the International Express Traveler Initiative. The Cabinet approved an MOU between the Interior Ministry and the U.S. Customs and, and Border Protection on information and data exchange related to travelers. The Cabinet approved an agreement between Bahrain and the U.S. in the field of combating terrorism and cooperation in this regard. The Cabinet approved amending clubs regulations affiliated with the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Cabinet approved imposing anti-dumping fees of 67.5% on GCC cement imports for a period of five years. The Cabinet approved a mechanism to communicate with vision and hearing impaired people and allows them to participate in TV programs on Bahrain TV and share their issues and needs. The Cabinet approved to stop street sellers and take the necessary legal measures to prevent this phenomenon from all places, markets, roads and places of worship. The Cabinet then approved a proposal regarding consumer electricity consumption. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, participated today via visual communication in the ninth session of the ministerial meeting of the Arab Chinese Cooperation Forum, which was held in Jordan, chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, Ayman Sadafi, in the presence of Councillor of State and Minister of Foreign Affairs of China, Wang Yi, in addition to Foreign Ministers of the Arab States and the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghid. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the Arab Chinese relations have remarkable developed in all fields. He stressed the keenness of Bahrain to support the forum by hosting a number of its activities. Dr. Zayani noted the development of the Bahraini-Chinese relations in the past few years as the two friendly countries celebrated the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relations in the past year. He renewed the support of the Kingdom on the Built and Road Initiative, adding that the Kingdom signed an MOU to join this initiative in 2018, hoping that the coming years will show further Arab-Chinese cooperation in its implementation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs added that the world now faces many challenges that require concerted efforts, the most prominent of which is the COVID-19 pandemic. He also welcomed holding an Arab-Chinese summit hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,621 with 690 recoveries, 510 registered new cases and one death. The Ministry of Health expressed its sincere condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions as well as avoiding public places when possible.